Welcome. In this particular video, we'll be rewriting expressions in exponential form. Let's take a look at our first example. Write the following expression in exponential form. Square root of x raised to the third power. The first thing we're going to do is to remember the following relationship. x to the p over q can be rewritten as x to the p under the qth root. Or, after you change the order, you can actually rewrite this one as the qth root of the base x raised to the p power. Now, we're given a scenario very similar to this one right now. So our job is to figure out what is p and what is q. We are also going to remember that if you're given the square root, you don't necessarily uh, write down the number here. So this is the same as the second root. Okay. Now, here, going back to our example, we have the square root of x to the third power. Notice, because we're dealing with the square root, we can uh, rewrite this one in the following form. This is the second root of x to the third power. In this case, this exponent here is what we call your p, and this uh, number here is what we call your q. So we can relate this ones, these two numbers, to the numerator in the case of p and to the denominator in the case of q when it comes to the exponent. So this can be rewritten as x to the p over q, but now rewriting or substituting in the values, this is just x to the 3 over 2, or x to the 3 halves. So we can conclude the following. We can say, therefore, the square root of x to the third, it's simply x to the 3 halves. And that's how we can rewrite this original expression in exponential form. So let's see a few more examples. Example 2, write the following expression in exponential form. Now notice here that our base is 6p. And we're giving um, a square root. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as follows. This can be rewritten as the second root of 6p. Not only that, but since we don't uh, seem to have an exponent here, there's an implicit one. So this can be rewritten as the square root of 6p to the first power. Because anything raised to the first power is itself. Okay, so that leaves you with your p. Here's our p, value for p. And your q, here's your value for q. Remember that p is the numerator of your exponent. And q is the denominator of your exponent. So in this case, we can rewrite this one as uh, 6p to the numerator. In this case, our numerator is 1 over the denominator, which is 2. So we can conclude the following. The square root of uh, 6p is simply equal to 6p quantity raised to the one-half power. Just be careful to not get these two p's confused. This is the general p from uh, the relationship, and this is p from the base. Let's take a look at example 3. Write the following expression in exponential form. Okay, so here our base is 3x. We're taking the fifth root of that, and then we're raising it to the sixth power. So this 6 is what uh, we call p, which is your numerator for the exponent. And this number here is what we call q, which is your denominator for the exponent. 
again, the 3x, in this case, it's uh, what we call the base. So we can say here that the fifth root of 3x quantity to the sixth power, it's simply equal to the base, 3x, raised to the p, which we said was 6, over q, which we said was 5, okay? So we can say that um, the fifth root of 3x to the 6th power is simply just 3x quantity to the 6th fifth exponent. And lastly, one more example. Example 4, write the following expression in exponential form. So here our base is um, 10n. We're taking the square root of that, and then we're elevating or raising that to the third power. So let's rewrite this one. Recall that um, the square root is the same as the second root. So that's all what we're going to do. We're going to rewrite that one using this particular number. So this is just um, the second root of 10n raised to the third power. So the 3 is what we call your P, uh, the 2 is what we call our Q. So one can conclude that the square root of uh, 10n cubed, it's simply equal to 10n to the 3 halves. Where is the 3 coming from? Well, that's because this is your exponent here. And where is the 2 coming from? Well, that's because that's uh, the uh, number associated with the root. So in this video, we focus our attention on how to rewrite expressions in exponential form. We notice that um, the actual number for the power is what we call your actual numerator of the fraction. And um, the actual number associated with the root is what we call the denominator of the fraction. And that fraction is your exponent, and we'll just keep the base. So thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.